hello friends in our previous video we have discussed about menstru menstruation okay in this video we are going to discuss about the menstrual abnormalities the first one is an ovulatory cycle in this uh, no ovulation will occur okay women fail to ovulate but ovulation is not going to occur but uh, menstrual flow will be normal okay and in some cases in many cases the time period of menstrual cycle will decrease okay now coming to the in more detail and it is more common in first 12 to 18 months of months after menarche okay the first menstrual cycle is known as menarche and after 12 to 18 months of the menarche during this period 12 to 18 months after menarche uh, this can occur and before onset of menopause these are the two duration in which an ovulatory cycle is seen so if there is no ovulation then there will be no formation of corpus luteum if there will be no corpus luteum it means there will be no progesterone it, and progesterone as we know it is a pregnancy hormone so if there is no progesterone then the endometrium will not be maintained and it will start to degenerate and menstrual fall occur so due to the absence of progesterone the menstrual cycle is usually less than 28 days in an ovulatory cycle now coming to the amenorrhea Amenorrhea is basically two types primary amenorrhea and secondary in primary just in that uh, woman in which there is no menstrual bleeding never menstrual bleeding has never occurred that will be categorized under primary amenorrhea but suppose uh, a woman was uh, going with a normal menstrual cycle but due to certain reason the menstrual cycle has been stopped for for um, uh, from a certain period for a certain period then it will be counted under secondary amenorrhea okay so a stoppage of cycle with previously normal period is known as secondary amenorrhea and secondary amenorrhea is common in pregnancy one more example of secondary amenorrhea is pregnancy so most common cause of secondary amenorrhea is pregnancy due to you all know due to the prolactin hormone and other causes are pituitary disorders, hypothalamic disorders, ovarian disorders because of the pituitary is leading GnRH, hypothalamic is leading, sorry, pituitary is leading gonadotropin FSH LH, hypothalamic, hypothalamus releases GnRH and ovarian, ovary is leading estrogen progesterone like that. Now the next one is metrorrhagia. It is just bleeding from uterus between periods. Okay, it is known as metrorrhagia. Oligo oligomenorrhea. Oligo means reduce so there is reduced frequency of periods this menorrhea this means pain and menorrhea menstruation so it is painful menstruation so this is all about